Hey guys, Andrew here from Break the Boundary. I'm here with Deputy Chair Chris and we've got something very exciting to show everyone out there. Keep watching for the inside scoop. The highly anticipated G-Trike by Sporton has finally hit the market. Straight out of Poland, Chris has the first cab off the rank and it's right here in Perth, West Australia. This is a revolutionary new style of off-road hand cycle with only 10 in the world and we're here to give you an in-depth look at this beast. Chris, you haven't actually ridden this on the dirt yet. Now, as you can see, it's still nice and pretty. It um, hasn't seen a, a dirt track just yet. What we'll do, guys, is we'll break it down. We'll start from the front end and work our way back. This is the footrest section. Um, all these pads, all these straps are adjustable, so you can you can lift them up for someone that, that needs to have their legs straighter, or you can, you can lower them right down if you prefer to have your legs bent a little bit more. This foot plate here is obviously adjustable. You can see the uh, adjustable sections right here and here. Um, this whole section can push in and out, obviously right up to the, the very edge of uh, the straight section here. It's like a bike seat, yet yeah, quick release, both sides, um, and then right. quite, quite easily pushes it in and out. And I guess for people that have no legs and don't have to worry about it, you can take that. You can take it off, yeah, it's quite easy to take right off. I actually um, have taken it off a couple of times just to be able to work on the front of the bike. Okay, so what I would probably recommend with this uh, section of the frame is because the leg contacts it here, just a bit of padding over this section here, you can actually get seat belt covers from Super Cheap or yeah, any local hardware store uh, that look almost exactly like that. You cut them down, wrap them around there. Each wheel has its own independent shock absorber, so they do work independently from one another. They're running the RockShox Monarch RL, two at the front, one on each side. These are quite nice. They have a nice little uh, lever. They do use this as a standard for the explorers. You can adjust the rebound on things as well um, and the dampness of it. You can lock it out all together or you can have it uh, released so that you get full benefits of using the suspension. I can reach forwards and touch the ground if I can do that. I can reach forwards and touch it and adjust the suspension quite easily. Nice. You can see the pedals up here, uh, all your gears and brakes and everything are attached to the handles. It's all controlled through, obviously you've still got your standard brake lines and everything. They've left enough clearance with these pedals so that you, they can do a full rotation without getting jammed up. Yeah. Um, obviously, I can only t go backwards at this this moment. It's it's really quite simple. It doesn't take a lot of effort. You would think, mm. being you know something you have to pedal with your arms, it would be quite hard. But the way that they've designed this is very well made. Yeah, we've just done this real quickly, so it doesn't roll away. It is actually quite easy to steer, as you can see here. I'm only using one hand. Um, doesn't take a lot of effort even with all your weight on the bike. Well as you can see here that the gooseneck of the bike, this section here is attached straight to the main frame and you've just got a set of um, upper and lower bearings right here which transfers to another control arm. So you can see there's a, a small control arm just here that is attached uh, to the lower end of the gooseneck which is connected to some ball joints up to a uh, adjustable steering angle here on the, the top end of what you would call the main steering assembly. I'm turning and it's it's moving quite quite easily. So you can see down here the electric motor is a standard uh, Bafang um, mountain bike motor you, which you can put onto any bike. There is actually a 750 watt motor. These motors they, they're all programmable and uh, the output does rely on your gears, your ratio and your, your battery um, voltage as well. You can get a few different bat battery voltages, these motors work with a lot of them. It was quite quite simple to, to put, put together. The only part of this, this design that I'm not entirely happy with is the fact that you have to unbolt the seat to recharge the battery. Um, we have done some basic modifications to be able to charge it through the external um, port through the front here um, but it just means the battery has to be switched on to be able to do so. There's a hole here for the uh, power switch so it's quite easily reach in 
Turn the power on for the battery. Yeah. The blue match is the prime. You'll have a little blue light in there telling you it's turned on. Uh, you press and hold the on button here. And on. your screen comes on. And it all is all actually quite simple. It gives you your, your trip meter, some speed limits as well. It's got a sensor on the rear wheel, as you can see just there. Quite simply, up and down for faster, or well, for more and less assistance. I think this one may have been programmed for a little less assistance, um, though it still will go up to assistance level nine, which will basically, you, you won't be doing much work at all. It, it will be doing most of it. You'll be flying off the handles. That's all right. right. I imagine once these guys roll it out for full manufacturing production, they'll tidy up a little bit of this. A lot of it is unnecessary. That's sort of the stock standard length that it comes out of the box with. Okay, so the seating position is, is pretty straightforward. Um, as you can see, the seats here, the backrest, you can, you can change the backrest angle. There's two different set positions. You can, you, can, you can remove that bolt and move it up to the, the next set of um, thread that you can see in the side of the frame. This one didn't come with any straps or like seat belts or anything like that. I will be installing a seat belt on this, mainly because I don't like falling out. But the carbon seats are, are very strong, so um, you could drill a hole straight through the side of it, put a strap on there, and you'll have no problems holding you in. The whole seat, it, um, as you can see here, it's just attached by Velcro. Uh, the seat cover itself is actually sewed onto this piece of foam, so you can't take it out and wash it or, or, or wash the, the actual cover itself. I'm yeah. sure you could probably just throw that whole thing in the washing machine. That's good for all the people that shit themselves while they're riding. <laughs> That's right, yeah. <laughs> Alright, and what about the backrest padding? That seems quite generous, which is good. The backrest padding, yeah, that is nice and it's actually firm. It's fairly comfortable considering like you look at it, it's quite small. The way that it's designed, it fits nicely in, in the uh, centre of your back. and gives you a, a fair amount of support. Suspension nicely tucked away. I think that's well machined. Uh, this, this whole back end, plenty of space there for the tyre. You could probably even go a plus size uh, mountain bike tyre on that. They are running 26s uh, rims at the moment, so it opens up the variety and choice selection for different treads and different makes. So nicely tucked away in there. I imagine it will kick up quite a bit of dirt, so maybe uh, at some stage a mud guard of some sort. Yeah, this is a standard 8 speed hub. Um, it seems to be more than sufficient at the moment, uh, especially with the power assist. Everything is quite, quite simple and easy to use. A lot of the time with a, a person in a hand cycle, you do tend to stop a fair bit and, and change your gears. Um, especially if you get stuck somewhere or if you fall off, you might have to change back down to a lower gear. These iPhone hubs can shift on the spot and, and change pretty much instantly. It's almost the frame of an of a Explorer 3, uh, which gives it all this clearance here. All right, guys, that's enough talking from us. Let's get Chris on this thing and he's gonna go for a little spin. That's a wrap up from our little, I guess, product review, if you want to call it that. If you have any questions uh, about anything specific, if you're interested in trying it out, drop us an email at info at breakingbattery.com. Uh, we'll be happy to answer any of your questions. Wait for our come try day. Uh, we'll set a date sometime, hopefully in the early or mid days of February, probably on a weekend over two days. We also have um, contact with the guys in Melbourne at Adaptive Concepts Australia. We'll keep a link uh, down in the description of this video as well. Uh, for anyone that's around Melbourne or that can get to Melbourne, hit those guys up. They'll be more than happy to let you try this out. Um, their one isn't a nice uh, hot sexy blue like this one, so I don't know what colour that is. You're just going to have to stay tuned for that one. If you haven't already, uh, like, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. Feel free to share it. Tag your mates in it really get a conversation going because this is very exciting. Alright guys, I am going to back up out of this driveway and hit some dirt. <laughs> and she's off! <laughs>